I'm at the yard of Alan Schoeff and on Friday he'll look forward to starting in race one with Splas, the main brace. She lines up in a juvenile plate for Phillies and uh, Alan, she was a very gutsy winner on debut over 800 metres. Morning Nadine, yes, she, you know, she won a nice race, 800 being a little bit sharp for her but uh, she came out uh, all guns blazing and uh, Hold of the uh, rest of the field that were running at her, but uh, nice for Lee. I think she'll only improve as she goes further, and um, I think she's the only winner in this race as well. So she's had the benefit of getting into the winner's box. So you know, she's nice for Lee, uh, unless there's a filly that's really um, decent and uh, unraced, she'll be very competitive. We move to race four where the yard will step out three runners. Rosa Rossa, never in her last. I'm sure we can expect better. On the guest list, smart run against male opposition last time out. And respectable miss will join them. Yeah, I agree with you, Rosa Rossa. She's a filly that's uh, taken a little bit of time to win. She's very mature and, uh, you know, she's, I think, get better as she gets older. And uh, 2,000 metres, I think, is something that she's been looking for. Um, on the guest list, ran a cracking race last time and I expect more improvement and respectable. But she's lost her form a little bit, but uh, you know, she's come down in the weights. She's won four races or so. Um, I think she could bounce back, back into the money. Meet at the Windsor will run in race five and uh, he was a winner at any price last time out. Yeah, amazing. He won uh, as he pleased at any price. He seemed to have turned the corner because he's uh, looking well and... Uh, his work has uh, improved with his win as well all of a sudden. I'm quite happy with the way he's been working and uh, dare say that uh, you leave him out at your own barrel this time. Sounds like he's turned a corner, so keep your eye on meat at the Windsor. We move to race six, inherit the rain while well, he ran a cracker in the Fairview Merchants last time out. He'll be joined by the Mauritian who looked to have needed his local debut last time out and I'm sure we can expect some improvement. Yeah, I inherit the rain. He ran a cracking race last time, and Richard felt that uh, we should try the 14. He's, uh, you know, had a couple of tilts at the 14, but always seems to be one found, uh, well, found wanting rather, and um, a tough race. But uh, you know, if he repeats that run, he'll be in the money. Um, the Mauritian, you know, he's quite quite highly rated for a horse that's only. Uh, two-time winner and been taking on tough opposition. He's having his second run here. Um, you know, I think uh, 1400 will suit him, but um, maybe a little bit outclassed. Moving on to race seven, Saturn Moon encouraging local debut last time out. Burn Baby Burn also posted a good run in her last, which was her post-maiden run, and what a ball will join them. Yeah, I think all three fillies uh, have run incredible races. Um, last time out, Saturn Moon only beaten a length and a bit and happy with her first run in the Eastern Cape and looking for some more improvement over a little bit more ground. Burn, Baby Burn um, ran forth working nicely and uh, looking well and I think you know she's a filly that can run the money drawn out a little bit wide. Um, what a ball sh she's running back to back from last week. Uh, ran fifth, only beaten three odd lengths and uh, was running on a little bit there. So also showing that she wants a little bit more ground. Uh, is running a week apart, so uh, you know, she pulled up well and she's just got to tick over to Friday. And closing in race eight, we'll see Holly's View, who's shown improved form of recent over sprinting trips, and Mia Regina, who is at best over the 1,000 metre trip. Yeah, Holly's View, she's definitely... Uh, better off by the looks of things over a sprint and uh, you know, she's drawn nicely 14 and Richard will be riding her, she'll be doing her best work late there. Uh, Maria Regina, she's uh, knocking on the door, she hasn't been far off them and uh, she does seem to find that the thousand is her best. Let's see what those two can do in the last of the day in race eight.